So now that we've created a content area and decided to organize our content either by weeks or within those content areas, let's talk about some of the things that we can do within um, to build out our content. First, let's start with what Blackboard refers to as an item, so a content item. Uh, these are great for a number of different reasons. <clears throat> so you can provide an overview um, to the unit or the week or whatever content you wanted to look at. With <clears throat> um, You can also use this for um, embedded uh, YouTube videos. So um, if we wanted to just use this for an overview for uh, what they're doing that week or if it's a unit, um, let me just grab some text here. Um, we can paste that in and you'll notice a lot of times when you copy and paste into Blackboard <clears throat> that you will lose the formatting um, or it will not come over correctly so a lot of times I try not to do too much um, too much with the styles and formatting especially if I'm typing in Word or Google Docs because a lot of times I'm going to end up having to update it or change it in Blackboard and so if you do get formatting or um, it doesn't look correct your best bet is to just go ahead and highlight all the text and then uh, you'll have this button up here in the top right corner that removes formatting. Um, and if my text editor looks different, it may be because your menu's collapsed. So if you see this button over here, you can click it and that gives you a few more options. Uh, so that's how you can embed text and remove the formatting. You see that it changed. If we wanted to include a um, embedded YouTube video, the main thing you have to do is get that embed code from YouTube um, and, and we'll have another video for that um, but you can't just paste it in here and, and expect it to work you have to take one extra step so let's remove that so let's say I have typed up my overview for students and I've recorded a brief lecture where I found a resource online that uh, kind of covers what I want to uh, convey to the students what you have to do is you're going to click this HTML button here and I know that sounds scary, but don't worry. Just kind of um, look for where you want that video to be. And so I'm going to go here and just space down a little bit. It doesn't matter how many spaces. That's not how the code's going to get read by Blackboard. So you'll paste in that uh, embed code um, from YouTube. When you click Update, you'll see that it adds this box. And it's going to appear yellow because it's not loading um, the video. So after we click submit, we'll see in here in just a second that it'll display the video. Um, while you're building these items, you can also attach files. Uh, so if you if you need to do that, so perhaps if you have a template that students are going to need to use for a weekly assignment, you can attach it there. As always, you'll need to make sure that it's visible um, when you're ready, and you can track the number of views. And then we'll click submit to finish. And what we'll see is that our text will be there, it's non-formatted, and the video displays. Now talking about formatting, a lot of you won't get this far and um, it's, it's a goal. Um, so let's edit this item that we've created. And it's easy for us to do things when we have a title, we just want to highlight it um, or bold it and increase the size. The problem is for screen readers, they don't recognize that. So what we really have to do is when something's a header or a title, is use those built-in styles. Um, so I can select heading here, um, and it, even if your text editor is collapsed, um, you, you'll just have to open that menu and then you can change it to the correct style. Um, same thing, uh, if you now well let me back up a little bit so after you've selected the style it may change the appearance of it but it still says heading um, so once it's set to heading you can still change the appearance of the font or the size but it, and it keeps that heading note um, for a lack of better words so that way when the screen reader uh, looks at it it kind of knows this is the title of what I'm about to kind of read off um, once you have your t uh, style set, then you just click Submit. And that is uh, what Blackboard refers to as an item. So sometimes I will say content item and I'm talking about something specifically like this. 
um, or I just mean uh, a syllabus. So if that's confusing, I'll try to provide a little extra con uh, context.